Hello badminton fans and welcome to this Mizuno JPX limited edition badminton racket review and racket number 647. So let's talk straight away about availability and price. The availability of this outside of Asia is extremely limited. We've struggled for years to make contact with Mizuno and try to get these rackets over for testing despite their popularity in Asia. Mizuno always reluctant to supply into any country where they don't have a proper distribution network set up. However, we have managed to get hold of some of the primary JPX rackets and we are selling them at www.badminton-racket-review.com. Uh, our shipping does offer, it is a worldwide shipping service and this racket will sell for £120 and this does represent the top end of the JPX range. Now let's go across to the racket specs and compare them to our own E-Zone specification testing. The overall weight of this racket written here is 87 grams. The E-Zone testing shows this racket to weigh 89.2 grams. Of course that is with the Yonex BG65 string and the racket grip supplied by Mizuno. Balance of this racket, like with so many of the JPX, seeing this a lot now, is 295. So that suggests just a very slight uh, movement towards the head in terms of balance. The racket review E-Zone testing shows this to be uh, a little bit further towards the head, so more head heavy than 295. Stiffness of the shaft is stiff, and the racket review E-Zone testing shows the, staff, uh, the shaft stiffness to be also stiff. 30 pounds is the maximum sting tension on the strings, and outside of that, we have written here, it's Japan HMG T46. I assume that's something to do with the, the, the actual um, material used to make the racket. There's certainly carbon showing at the top end of here, this carbon design showing at the top. So I assume the carbon is part of the, the manufacturing process. The racket is made in China and it has a G5 grip. Right, the design, well, the a lot of the JPX range is matte finish. It's a matte finish design with JPX uh, printed uh, in many different places and some nice detailing work on the inside of the head. Hard to see Possibly the, the images you're going to see in a minute may show that, but a lot of detailing. The rackets, you know, shaped for aerodynamics. The real feel of these rackets, JPX range, is really decent quality, high quality, well finished, high quality print, um, as good as any manufacturer out there. Um, and when you're playing the rackets, there's this feeling of absolute stability with them, and that just um, that just follows on from the overall look and feel of decent quality, high, high manufacturing process. Take a look at these images yourself and see what you think. Okay, so now we've been through the specifications, let's now move on to the Racket E-Zone. Okay, so before we start our E-Zone testing, what do you need to know about how we test our rackets? Well, first of all, we use the same shuttles. The Yonix AS30s on all tests. We string, restring all of the rackets with Yonix BG65 at 25 pounds tension. And it's the same player taking all of the shots. Right, now you have some basic understanding of how we test. Let's move on to the smash test. The smash shot that you're seeing here and for all of the rackets we've tested within Badminton Racket Reviews E-Zone, uh, we take generally six shots. We take the two highest uh, racket uh, shuttle speeds and we average those to give us a 
overall speed. If those two, uh, if those two readings are not within a certain percentage of each other, we then retake the entire test. This shot measures the shuttle speed uh, coming off the racket head, and also if you go across to the E zone, you'll see a picture similar to the one you're looking at on the screen now which accompanies every single racket within the E zone so that's nearly 650 or more rackets with this kind of smash JPEG showing you the racket head speed, the shuttle speed, the distance and the approximate repulsion of the racket. Right, our first test in the E zone is the smash test. Let's do it now. Okay, it's time now for a E-Zone manoeuvre test. The manoeuvre shots was designed to tell us about the racket's acceleration abilities, its ability to shift from one direction to the other or shift quickly from nothing to full speed. It also tests the racket's um, aerodynamics. In this test, the player is sitting still with the racket and once the shuttle is fired which we, and we measure the shuttle speed to ensure we have uh, consistency within the tests so it's coming at the same speed all the time or roughly the same speed as, as, as much as we can control anyway um, and then the player reacts once the shuttle is fired to hit the shuttle and we are measuring the head speed of the racket during that test. Okay, now we want to see how good this racket is at controlling the shuttlecock. Let's go across to the E-Zone control test. The E-Zone control test is a simple test. It's, uh, we've, we've had a lot of comments about this test. Uh, the first thing you should know is that 14 shots are in total are taken, not just what you see on camera. Um, the player is aiming for the green bucket which scores the highest, the grey bucket scores slightly less than anything in the net or out scores nothing at all. Now the same rules apply on this test as they do on any other court test, it's the same shuttle, it's the same string, same tension, same player. Um, now we have uh, retaken the test with the same racket to see what kind of variation we get and we generally find that the results are within 10 to 12 percent of each other so the, the test is not that bad and it is generally very hard to come up with a control test uh, that's better than this. We've tried. So, but if any of you have any suggestions on how we should proceed with control tests in the future, please do give constructive answers that are helpful. So ultimately, the Mizuno JPX Limited Edition is a racket that you need to master the timing of, get used to the feel, the weight, the balance of, and with that comes significant improvement, and I mean significant improvement in playability, which is not a common experience. So. Um, I am going to say that this racket is worth a try as well. I know I've done this on a few JPX videos now, um, but I'm really impressed with the stability of the rackets, the control and the all-round playability of the rackets, and I'm particularly impressed with the uh, accessibility to performance. So what I mean by that is uh, some of the other rackets I've tried, like I mentioned earlier, the Astrox rackets, you simply just cannot play 
no matter how much you play with them, things just didn't get better. With these, so you're not accessing the full potential of the racket. With these, I felt like things got a lot better. Okay. Um, I think that's it in terms of the racket. If you're using this racket already, please leave a review on the Bampton Racket E-Zone. If you're an E-Zone user, thousands of people visiting the E-Zone every single day. If you are a if you're, if you're not familiar with the E-Zone, then please uh, wait for this video to end and at the end of this video, another video will start, which is a video tour of the E-Zone, give you an idea of what's going on there. Um, if you're not an E-Zone member, then please leave a review on any of our social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, or YouTube. Uh, you don't need to be worried about it. Uh, we're not like forums where people get crucified for um, asking questions or giving their honest opinion even if the opinion is controversial or providing it's polite providing it's decent and providing it's done with the intention of being helpful to anybody uh, uh, reading it then absolutely welcome to do so right i think i am done here today so as with every video big big thanks to the support around the world a uh, big big thanks to all of the badminton community for getting behind us on our venture to make people more aware of racket choices and allow them, give them the E-Zone platform to better be able to compare rackets and understand what you're getting a lot better than ever before. Thanks again. Do keep up the likes. Do keep sharing. We'll see you on the next video.